Yo, 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 yo. Look, I know there's much more important shit going on in the world right now, but uh, uh I gotta share some some with y'all. The Samsung Galaxy Note 7, right? We all should be aware by now that these bitches are catching fire. We all should be aware by that shit now, right? So the fact that these phones are catching fire, Samsung has put out a, re a mass recall. They want all the original phones that went to any single customer. They want them all back. And they issuing new phones via swap because it's a recall. For every recall, that's what they do. They, they fix the problem, right? So instead of them fixing our phones, they're giving us all new ones as an even swap. And a $25 bill credit on behalf of Samsung. So I called around, you know, because I heard they were started coming in around the 19th. I called my store on the 20th of uh what is this it was way in september and my store had the phones in stock actually and they was like yeah you can come and switch it now because we, we, we got them here so i went to the store with my uh my note 7 right so they was uh i was i was changing my phone they went to go get the new one the fresh one the fixed one the one that's not gonna catch fire they went to go grab that joint and uh as they was putting stuff in the system they told me Okay, we need you to put down. No, let me let me let me let me, let me backtrack a little bit. Let me backtrack a little bit. So we was on the phone and they said, uh, "I got a call. I got to call these. I got to call Sprint. The the store that I went to had to still call Sprint because they have to waive the eligibility because it was coming up as if I don't even know it was coming up for some reason. So as they waived the uh, eligibility, she had to call back again because something else wasn't right. Then she had to call back again because something else wasn't right. So and I'm sitting there, she, you know, she on the phone on hold and she asked me, she like, hey, did you pay a deposit for your phone when you came in? And I was like, uh, yeah, that's how I got the phone because I, I had to pay a deposit for my phone. So I was like, yeah, of course. Like, yeah. She was like, oh, OK, just making sure. Whatever. So as she's talking, she like, yeah, I need you to waive the deposit because it's saying the customer need to put a deposit down for the phone. So the guy on the other line was like, yeah, he need to put a deposit down on the Note 7 for the, for the exchange for the recall. So just just to make this just to, just to make this real clear, me, I, I was issued, when I, I purchased, you know, whatever, leased, edge program, whatever Sprint call it. I got me one of these from Sprint. Samsung told Sprint to take them all back from the customers and exchange it with the ones that we send to y'all. But Sprint told me that I'm not getting another replacement phone. I'm not able to do the recall if I, unless I come up with my deposit again. Now, it's really nobody's business. Now, my deposit was like 200 and something dollars. So 200, it was around $200. I'm not, you know, if, 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 the, if the money could be laying right here and I'm at the Sprint store, I'm not giving Sprint another $200 for a phone that's been recalled. I don't know any recall shit. When Microsoft was recalling Xboxes, Microsoft was paying for shipping. You, you wasn't paying nothing. So why am I, me, why do I have to pay another deposit for a phone that's on recall? Like, Sprint, come on now with this shit. So, freaking, um... Um, you know, they was just like, well, unfortunately, it's, it's nothing that we, we, we can do. It's nothing that we can do. So here go your phone back. Sprint told me, here go your, here go your defective Note 7 that can catch fire. You, here, you take this home with you because you're not getting a new one unless you can come up with 200 and something dollars. So, you know, I, I said, let me speak to the people that you're talking on the phone with. And she was like, sure, here go the customer, blah, blah, blah. And he was just telling me, sir... You, the reason you have to pay a deposit is because it's credit based and your credit came up that you have to pay a deposit. And I was like, dude, I completely understand that. That's the deposit I paid when I came to pick up my Note 7. But I'm not paying another one because it was recalled. Like, my credit has nothing to do with a recall. Like, get the fuck out of here, Sprint. Like, really? So, uh... So, yeah, so to make a long story short about the store, I end up leaving with a defective phone. I called customer service on, on you know, on the, on the way to uh, where I was going to the gym. So I called customer service trying to cancel my line just to turn the whole phone back in. Just I don't want Sprint no more. I'll wait for the new Note 7s to come out and I'll go to a different carrier and pay whatever I got to pay. But I'm not paying Sprint again. So I was like, look, I don't want the phone. It's on recall. I don't want the phone. I want to turn it in. I want to cancel my line. So Sprint told me, Mr. King, we're not, we, if, if you turn in that phone and cancel your line, we're going to charge you $862 because you already signed a lease for this phone. And I said, but it's on recall. You won't give me another one. You won't let me turn it in. So I'm stuck with a phone that can fucking catch fire. Like get the fuck out of here, Sprint. Really? This is what they telling me. 
So fucking, yeah, I'm heated because this shit is fucked up. People just do whatever the fuck they want to do in the in personal world, in the business world. People just do whatever the fuck they want to do. So, like, fucking, so, uh, basically, you know, so that's not an option. It's, I'm just stuck with the phone, so that's not an option. What else? So I called customer service. I was on the phone with customer service, y'all, for, I can't even say, you, you probably like six hours. And this is two days. This was the day, that, what I say, I went on the 20th and the 21st, the morning of the 21st. In the afternoon, I was on the phone all damn day with Sprint that day too. So about about two hours the night after I left the store, and about six hours the next day. So eight hours total on the phone with Sprint and not getting nowhere. Customer service saying no, it's a recall, it's a swap. They telling you wrong. Go to another store. So I went to another store and they said the same thing. You gonna have there's no way around it. You gotta pay a deposit or you just stuck with that with that with that phone that you got now. So I'm stuck with the phone that might catch fire because I won't pay another deposit on a recall phone. And I can't turn it in because I signed a lease. And if I turn it in, I'm gonna be charged eight hundred and sixty two dollars the remaining lease for the phone. Like what like what option are what how are you treating your customers? And I'm a new customer with Sprint. I had Sprint for freaking as of making this video four weeks in two days. Like really, and this, this is what I'm going through. So freaking um, what else? Um, so I call customer service, and then um, you know, I I, I I was explaining the situation how I'm not able to trade the phone, I'll deposit, I'm not paying the deposit, blah blah blah. So the lady was like, one of the ladies was like, okay, Mr. King, I need you to go to your settings, and when you go to settings, I need you to go to to update and when you do and i was like what well, an update is, is current already and she was like oh okay mr king well you're good you don't need to exchange your phone because your phone is already updated really sprint she, she said so it's not gonna catch fire because you got the update really if that was the case it would never been a goddamn recall like this like come the fuck on with this bullshit so i'm stuck i'm stuck with a note seven uh, 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 that's on recall, the one that could potentially catch fire, I'm stuck with it because Sprint won't allow me to turn it back in and cancel my my contract with it because I signed a lease. And Sprint won't let me exchange it until I pay them another 200 and something dollars for a deposit for a phone that's on recall. So I'm stuck with a phone. So I can do one of two things. I can continue to use the phone, continue to use it, and you know, if it catches fire, it catches fire, whatever, whatever, whatever. Or... I can power the phone down and still pay for it every month because I got to pay for it. Or I got to pay for it because it's a, uh, you know, it, I, got, I still got to pay for it because uh, I don't even know what I'm, I'm, I'm so fucking heated. But yeah, so I got to pay for it, period, because if I don't pay for it, then of course, that's going to be a negative reflection on my bills, on my credit and all that stuff. And nobody got time for that. So I'm just stuck with a Note 7. I'm completely just I'm I'm, I'm stuck with it. So, um, thank you, Sprint. Thank you for, for, for fucking me. For fucking me completely. Thank you, Sprint. So this is a warning to all the customers as your stores start to get them in this week. I'm just warning y'all on what the hell y'all gonna have to go through when y'all get to Sprint. So, all the customers, if you put a down payment down on your Note 7, when you arrive at a Sprint store, get ready to pay that down payment again. And then they was going on this rant about, uh, well, we're going to refund you your original deposit anyway. So later on, you'll get your money back. Like, I'm not giving y'all $200 for they were talking about up to 21 days. I'm not giving Sprint $200 for, to hold a mine for up to 21 days until you refund the other half. That's fucking stupid. That's stupid as hell. So I, I'm stuck with it, everybody. So Samsung, this, this shit is going to look bad on y'all too. Sprint, this, y'all shit, y'all already look fucking bad. You know, and, and I try to, I try to go out on a limb. It's 2016. Every network is great, right? Fuck it. This, this shit is ridiculous. It's ridiculous. So I'm stuck with the phone, everybody. So everybody going to Sprint, had that down payment ready for the second time now. For the second time. Cause if you paid when you first got the phone, you're going to have to pay again. So get get ready to uh, put you get ready for another whatever your down payment was. If you a perfect credit customer, then you know you you should be fine. They can't ask you for no money because you probably had a zero down. But any other customer, like if you pay fifty, you gonna pay fifty. If you pay a hundred, you gonna pay a hundred again. If you pay two hundred, you gonna pay a hundred two hundred again, or you gonna be stuck with the phone. Period. Point blank. And that's just the way Sprint's laying it down. Went to multiple stores. Stores are telling shit. 
Stores, stores are saying this, but customer service is not saying this. So obviously, Sprint just don't have they shit together. Period. Point blank. So this whole Note Seven thing is just is 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 fucked up. So like I said, I can power it down and be safe, or I can just continue to pay for a bill um, on on a device that I can't use. So either way, I'm fucking screwed. And either way, the rest of the Sprint customers that's in the same situation as me gonna be fucking screwed too. So thank you, Sprint. Thank you. As I'm reading right now, it says Sprint says that customers can return their Note 7 to any of its stores and it will be given a comparable device to use in the meantime. Now, this was before these devices came in. However, one thing to note, uh, I got my store from a Sprint store. The Sprint store just said Sprint store. It was only Sprint in there. Sprint, Sprint, Sprint. But uh, they were actually like a Sprint by Mobile Rev. So I tried to go to a corporate location. And the corporate location, which is still just a Sprint store, like there's no way of telling what's a corporate store and what's a third-party store. So the Sprint store that I purchased my Note 7 from was a Sprint by Mobile Rev, which is a third-party. But it says nothing about it anywhere on the store. It just says Sprint. So um, Sprint says customers can return their Note 7 to any of its stores. And they'll be given a comparable device to use in the meantime. But the thing is, like I said, I can't, since I bought my phone from a Sprint by Mobile Rev that once again was not marked that said it was a third party, I cannot go to a corporate store to exchange my Note 7. So even though it's a Sprint store, if it's not a corporate store, so it looks like all Sprint stores just say Sprint store. So you need to find out if it's a third party. If it's a third party store, you cannot go to a normal Sprint store. Um, which looks exactly the same. You cannot go to a normal Sprint store and exchange your Note 7. So that's the extra bullshit that's behind this fucking recall. It's, it's, it's all bullshit. But keep, in mind, but keep in mind that both the third party locations, like the Sprint by Mobile Rev that I went to, and the corporate locations are doing the same thing. They're telling you the same shit. You're not able to exchange your phone, so unless you pay that deposit, so like whatever.